I want duck at level one. Now, do I already have bacon? Apparently, I don't. No, I do. I do have bacon. Okay, thank God. Thank God. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Chef Where Through the miracle of time travel, we have gone back in time to a point where my restaurant actually worked. Yes, we ran into the issue in the last episode of Chef Where people would not go home. Even after they had been served their meal and paid their bill, they would not leave the restaurant even when I deleted the table out from underneath them. So we've just reloaded a previous save. We're still in day one of Chef. We actually haven't completed a full day yet because we keep having to redo some things. Chef is early access. Let's all be very clear. There's a little glitchiness to it, a little bugginess to it. It is being patched furiously. The developers are patching this daily, sometimes multiple times a day patches are coming out the door. So I am forgiving generally of early access issues in the wee hours. And I love Chef. I think it's exactly the game I wanted it to be. So we're going to keep plugging along. We've just kind of dialed back time a little bit. We've done a little bit of time travel. But in doing that, we still have to go back and correct some things that we did incorrectly. And then we'll show off some of the new things that are kicking around here too. So the very first thing we have to do is mess with our menu again. Now, when I was going through and just kind of getting ready to record this, I noticed down at the bottom of our orders here where we can see what everybody ordered. Wow, we get nothing but cheapskates coming in the door. There's a few blue collar, but mostly cheapskates is people actually ordered my mostly meat appetizer, which is a grilled steak as an appetizer. But a couple of people actually ordered it. Andre here and Victor. Victor, you magnificent man, you, you ordered mostly meat and then followed it up with butter pasta. That sounds really heavy. Victor. You're probably going to need some antacids after that. But as fun as mostly meat was, we're going to remove that from the menu. So yes, we have more tooltips and tutorials everywhere now. Let's get mostly meat off the menu. And let's actually just go ahead and delete it. I was That was just me messing around with the, with the recipe creator and the menu and whatnot. Let's just take that off the menu. And the very first thing we need to do is start bumping up these prices radically. We know that. So let me just go through and adjust all of these prices because the rule of thirds doesn't really play out in this game. We're going to be flat broke very, very quickly if we go with the rule of thirds in that the, the price of the dish should be, well, three times, the co three times your food cost. So your food cost should be one third of the dish, but that's not going to fly here. We need to bump this way, way up. So let me go through and adjust some prices and then we'll come back in. Okay, I've bumped everything up by quite a bit, quite a bit more than three times the food cost. Now, the butter pasta is the one that kills it for the cheapskates. They love that. It is still the cheapest entree on the menu, so they should still love it, hopefully, but it's quite a bit more than its food cost now, so the profit on that should be quite a bit higher. However, all of that being said out loud, there's only so much Conan our waiter can do, and God, I love you, Conan. You are just a machine, but there's only so much we can do with six tables. There's only so much money we can make with that. So I think in starting Chef today, the very first thing we need to do is throw down a bunch more tables and give Conan some help. I think we need another waiter on board for Conan. The other new thing, and I was questioning this in the last episode, and it's just while I'm thinking of it, it's a good time to point it out, was what the heck maintenance was. So if we go to our balance and maintenance down here, now again, we're still on day one, so we haven't actually done anything yet. There's no balance yet, but we had down here maintenance, and I was going, what the heck is maintenance? What am I paying for for that? That's been, well, not fixed, but that's been illuminated, if you will. So if we go to our building stuff, our little items here, and we go down to the various sort of, I don't know, cooking things, now we can see the balance. The maintenance cost on this is going to be 20. So I know buying this stove, this is going to cost me 20 per time period, day, week, it's a little fuzzy there, but day, week, whatever it may be, it's going to cost me 20. Get up into the fryer, that's going to cost me 45, and you get up into the really good fryer, the fryer cylinder 500, God, I want to own one of those in the real world, that's going to cost me 80, so we probably won't buy that right away, especially as we've got no fried food on the menu. I didn't quite factor that in when I was setting up this kitchen, that we actually have no fried food. I bought the fryer, I could just delete it, I suppose. That would save me, how much again? 45 in maintenance? 
we'll have to have a think about that. Maybe we delete the fryer because we don't actually need it right now, but I'd like to put fried food on the menu as soon as possible because this is my restaurant, and in my world, it lives in America, and we deep fry everything until it's golden brown, and then we shove it in our mouths. Okay, now, as this is day one, we still have unspent experience points and all that stuff to deal with. And now that I know a little bit more about the game, I'm going to try and spend these a little more wisely than I have in the past. So let's dive into the experience points and see how good we can make ourselves, see if we can unlock some good menu stuff. Except now, thanks to another recent change, we only have five initial points to spend instead of ten. So dialing back time does have its consequences. I mean, my restaurant works, but now I'm, going, I'm not going to be able to unlock any second-tier stuff immediately. We're going to be stuck on the bottom tier until we can get some more experience points. But that's fine. Let's, um, let's keep in the meat vein. This is my restaurant, so it's going to have a lot of meat on the menu. And let's get our preparation time down a little bit. We'll take a couple of points in that. That will reduce my meat recipe prep time by 6%. And let's get our cooking time down a little bit. I'm going to take all three points in that. That will get my meat cooking time down by 7%. No bad thing there at all. If we can get the meat cooked faster, because that generally does take a long time to cook in relation to everything else. So let's lock those points in. That's good. Back to our restaurant where Conan is cleaning up. And what else could we be doing with our time, apart from waiting for Conan to get these people out the door? We should still have time. Yeah, there's still Conan. There's still some people waiting out here. Do you, okay, you're going to get them. Excellent. Uh, not those guys. I think these folks were in line first, Conan. Conan? That's, uh, they, they just jumped the line there. We need a door guy. We need a host, clearly. Um, that table is really bugging me. Let me just fix that, because that's another thing we can do now. We can actually pick things up and move them now, which is neat. Okay, come on, come on, squeak over there. Squeak, squeak over there. There, okay, okay, well, we'll move you then, because there we go, perfect, okay. If I can't move you, I'm moving you, and then when you leave, I'm moving your table, because that's just going to make me mental. Speaking of tables... I, I want to start throwing tables down now, but Conan's the only guy on duty, and we're kind of getting to the end of the day here, so I don't want to overwhelm him. Oh, you're finally going out to get—you're just blowing off these guys, aren't you? Maybe they don't want to come to the restaurant. Maybe they're just looking at the tree. There's the, I mean, there is a very nice park over here with a statue of a tomato, so, you know, maybe they're just looking at that. I don't know. Okay, Conan, how would you feel— if I started dumping some more tables in here, could you handle it? I mean, probably not. Can I handle it? I'm the only person in the kitchen. Let's see what happens, because we need some more, we need more, more warm bodies in here. We can't get away from the fact that um, we just flat out don't have a lot of people that we can serve. How about, Conan, how about we did these tables and get them to match the other ones? I'm just going to give you some two tops. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. How about we did, uh... Ooh, can I get sort of one and one? Can we get one there and one in there? No, that's going to mess with your pathing, apparently. So let's get one. Oh, fidgety, 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 fidgety. How about in here? Hang on. Let me fidget with the tables here. It's making me mental. Okay, there we go. So four more two tops for Conan. And it's getting towards the end of the night. I can't imagine that tons of people are going to come in here. Again, it is still the first day of our restaurant. I don't even know if people know this place exists yet. But let's just squeeze through to the end of the day. Let's speed it up a little bit and see if anyone else is going to come in. And if so, can Conan handle it? He is an all-star. Yeah, okay. Got a solo over there. That's fine. That's fine. We don't hate the solos. That's It's fine. They get in and out really, really quickly. You can turn that table very quickly. Okay, couple right there. Two tops are doing their job. I apparently don't have anything to do over here. Well, that's fine. And I'm just noticing now I never actually renamed the diner. So once again, it's Dave's Diner. Oh, how many times have I renamed this place? Or at least put the name in and let's lock that in again. Lock it in. I am cooking like a maniac over here. Conan is doing his thing. The new two tops are doing very well. Very well. Cool. Let's just go through. It's 1041 p.m. I think we start closing down around 11, 1130. Let's just squeak through to the end of the day and see how we did. 
So everyone's starting to finish up at this point. Looks like the last couple of guests are getting ready to leave. They're getting their bill. And the one thing I see is Conan cannot get these tables cleared. He's got way too much to do. Yeah, only now is he just starting to get the tables cleared. That's not okay, Conan. Got to get the... I, I wish you had a busboy. I really do. I would love it if you had a busboy and had a little help, but he's not getting the tables cleared because he's too busy dealing with everyone. Okay, well, that kind of answers my question, really, which is Conan needs some help. All right, how did we do? Terrible. Absolutely terrible. But our expenses are 5500 That's, as I hope, building the restaurant. We built the restaurant. So what I really want to see is what happens the next budget. The next balance sheet, I want to see what we're looking like there. Uh, 80 in, in personnel, so wages 80. Rent, can't do anything about that. Raw ingredients, I think we're manageable. There's our maintenance, 108. We know what that is now. That's the machines in the kitchen. That's the kitchen appliances. However, we only made $416.94. That's not very good. That's not very good at all. Okay. Let's see what our reviews are, because that's the real key. That's going to tell us if we're charging enough for all this. Let's go over there. Well, with 22 reviews in and a very, very solid three and a half stars, I'll take that. That's, that's not bad for our first day in business. Everybody loves our prices. Everyone thinks our prices are fantastic. That means they're not high enough. You want 10% of your customers to be complaining about your prices and think you are too expensive. If you're not doing that, whether it be in Chef or in the real world, you are not charging enough. So I need this bar to actually come down. I'd like the other bars to go up. Ambiance still kind of meh. We can, if we get any money at, at any point, right now we're at minus $127. But if we get any money, we'll throw some more decoratives up. But got to get that price bar to actually come down a little bit. So I'm going to go through and readjust the prices on the menu. But before we do that, because we now have some more experience points, we can get back to unlocking some of these meat things. And I swear they've added a couple of things in here. I might have to go through and, and look at old footage of the game, but I don't remember there being this many things on this tier of meat, but maybe there were. Um, so meatballs, I do want to unlock that again. And what I'm noticing here is meatball recipe quality up and prep time down. So great. Let's have some awesome meatballs in here. I might have to rename the restaurant to be more meatball focused. I'm actually going to go ahead and take, no, no, wait, I'm not going to, yes, I am going to take two points in that. Let's just get really, really good meatballs. Okay. Lock that in. Now let's actually go be a little diverse here. What do we got kicking around in carbs? Obviously with only two points, we're not going to get to second tier stuff, but let's just do a broad recipe prep time down and a cooking time down. Nothing wrong with that. That's very, very sensible. Okay, those are locked in. All my points are spent. And now we have unspent ingredient points. Okay, am I broadly going back to duck meatballs? Now, I had a comment come up going, well, why did you take tier two duck meatballs? You should have just taken the lower quality ones. And that way you can save, you know, higher quality stuff where you have a more gourmet restaurant. My rationale on taking duck at level two is I only wanted to quote unquote buy it once. So I thought a mid range quality would be good. Um, that being said, the commenter, Lionel, I'm looking in your direction, is not entirely wrong. So. What if we took duck at level one? We've got 10 points kicking around here. 10 points. I want duck at level one. Now, do I already have bacon? Apparently, I don't. No, I do. I do have bacon. Okay, thank God. Thank God. And got to have some better cheeses in here. So blue cheese I'm taking and goat's cheese I'm taking. I think I'm just going to do everything at level one right now. Now, when we did the duck meatballs, we did those with chili pepper and goat's cheese. And we never really got a chance to see how they did. So I'm going to take chili peppers again. One thing I want to do before I forget that I think is, wow, there's so many ingredients here. So many ingredients. Okay. Um, one thing I want to do before I forget is unlock more booze. We have sake? Really? We have sake here? Okay, we only have the blonde beer on the menu, and it's kind of low rent. I want to get another beer, well, the only other beer on the menu. And we do have a lot of red meat, so let's get a red wine on the menu. Do we want to? Okay, the, we'll, we'll hold off on the white wine and any of the actual liquors in here. We'll hold off on that. Oh, there's coffee, though. 
it's my restaurant. I've pretty much got to have coffee. I could just go through and take all of these. There's so much yummy stuff in here. Uh, we got this. We've got the ingredients for my duck meatballs. That's good. I got three points left to spend. What could we? What can't I get? My God, there's so many things in here. Okay. Um, how about some? Well, fruits, is that wise? I don't feel, just thinking of my menu, that I have a lot of things that are going to go well with fruit. How about a messed up fish? How about just something that nobody would expect to see in my restaurant, like monkfish? I'm, I'm going to have monkfish, because why not? Only level one monkfish. It's not gourmet monkfish or anything. It, it's just... I don't, I'm not even 100% sure what a monkfish is. And, oh, hang on. Let's check out carbs. Let's check out some carbs here. How about some more veggies, maybe? Noodles. That would not be the worst thing in the world to have on the menu. Let's have noodles on the menu. And we got one more point to spend. Oh, okay. I'll put a vegetable on there. What don't we have? Cherry tomatoes. I do love cherry tomatoes. Green onions, leeks. That's all good. Olives. Hmm. Pickles. Well, that is very traditionally American. You're always going to get a pickle served with your burger. Zucchini. I love zucchini. Okay, zucchini is on the menu. Yay! Okay, now I need to recreate my duck meatballs. Okay, duck delights it is. It is. It's going to be even more delightful than my duck bites. So, bacon, 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 lard, lard, pork, pork, chicken, duck. Thank you very much. Let's get some duck up in there. Excellent. Now, what did we add the last time? We put chili peppers in and cheese. Where is dairy again? Please show me dairy, dairy, spice. I will actually, while I'm in spices, some chili pepper. And give me dairy, please. Uh, chocolate, honey, ketchup, no. But we're going to come back to that in a second. Uh, not carbs. Yes, dairy, the icon that looks like cheese. That should have been my first guess right there. So we put some goat's cheese in it. Now that is making it super, super fatty. So we needed to shave that off with a little sourness and or bitterness. And again, great comments in the comments section, Lionel. I'm looking in your direction. We never really took advantage of the third tier slots. So what we want to see is if we put, we put salt up in the second tier and it just oversalted it, surprisingly enough. What happens if we put salt in the third tier? Is that less salt that I'm putting in here? Let's try it, because that first time made it way too salty. Okay, it put a little bit of salt in, but not a ton. Good, now we know what to do with the third tier of ingredients. Excellent. So this is not as much stuff as is in the second tier. Got it. Let me figure out what else we need to put in here. We need, again, sourness or bitterness. Uh, the, so the lemon slice or what we believe to be an artichoke. What can we do with, say, anything at all along those lines? Um, olive oil would be sour, but it's going to jack up our fattiness. So we definitely don't want that. Ketchup might do it. I can't remember if we actually... Coffee. Seeing as we unlocked coffee, that's very... Very bitter, though. Very bitter. I bet... What if we put that in the third tier? A uh, little too bitter. A little too bitter and not very sweet at all. Nobody is surprised by that. Okay, take coffee out. No no coffee. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm shocked that those words just came out of my mouth. But no, that ain't going to cut it. Uh, water? No, that will do nothing at all. That's a silly idea. Uh, what happens if I put ketchup in the third tier? Not a lot of anything, actually. It does shave the the uh, fatness down a little bit. Actually, that's not bad. It's not sweet, but it's a duck meatball. How sweet could you expect this to be? Okay, if it's not sweet, what happens if I put sugar, which is pure sweetness? It will add nothing else to anything else. What happens if I put that in the third tier? That's fairly balanced. That's fairly balanced. Take it out for a sec. Okay, now put it back into the third tier. That is pretty balanced. I can broadly live with all of that. Now, $4.08 for food costs, that's, that's a big help on taking only first tier duck. That's where we were. Our food costs on the last duck one were much, much higher because we took second tier, excellent, really good duck. So $4.08 costs in food costs, not bad. Not bad. Prep time, a little high. 
1217, that's a little higher than I would like it to be, but we did take that skill to shave down the time on meatballs specifically. Great, let's lock that in and put that puppy on the menu. Okay, Duck Delights in, and these will be a little pricier than people may want them to be. Those cheapskates may not like this much, but we'll do this as kind of a, not exactly a loss leader. We're not undercharging for it, but, oh, that's a 10 bucks for an app. That's a little high. Let's take that down to nine. Even in a real world, world scenario, I'm hard pressed to pay 10 bucks for two or three meatballs, which is basically what this is. Uh, everything else looking pretty good. Let's get that grilled steak up a little bit, especially seeing as we can make it faster now. That would be good if we can get a few more of those in and out the door. Uh, salads, everything's looking good. And let's not forget to add more booze to the menu. So cheap red beer, we're paying 73 for that. Excellent. Let's just make sure we're, we're charging. No, 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 no. Come back down here. Come back down here. Charging a lot more than 73 cents. Um... Yeah, this is uh, it's cheap. It can be basically the same price as the blonde beer, but the wine, on the other hand, now that's $1.46 in food costs. That's not nothing for a glass of wine. Let's jack that up to, say, seven forty. Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's see if anyone buys it. See if anyone buys it and we'll go from there. Okay, I am ready, Conan, for a brand new day. However, we're going to put some more tables down and we're going to get you an assistant. Now, thankfully, the game isn't too fussy about me having exactly zero money at this point. It's still going to let me build things. It just push, pushes me into negative numbers. So that's nice. A couple of more four tops here, and, and apparently I owe the bank some money for those tables. Let's uh, get to hiring somebody. I think, Conan, it's time for you to pass your wisdom on to the next generation of server. Let's have a look at the hiring menu. Now, this is an area that I still find confusing in Chef. Hopefully this will be clarified later. So we've got Joy here, and her skill level is rated as low. She's got minus 10% time needed to do all the things she needs to do. Minus 10% being in green, by the way, which basic game logic says that's a positive thing. So I read that as she's just a tiny itsy bitsy bit faster at doing all the things that she needs to do. However, Ralph here, as a chef, also has skill level low, and that's a flat zero. That's neutral. So he's not any better, not any worse, but his zero is in red, which again, basic game logic says is bad. So I'm a little concerned, uh, confused rather, about how skill level low, what does that actually mean? Because it seems to mean a different thing for waiters and for chefs, and skill level low actually seems to be a positive thing for Joy here. I can only assume that there's skill level low, skill level meh, and skill level unbelievably awesome, and these numbers would change accordingly, but I haven't really seen anything to that effect. That being said, uh, Julita here, Julita, you also have skill level low, again, minus 10% across the board, but apparently a positive 10%, and you're wicked cheap in relation to everyone else. So, Julita, you're on board. Conan, teach her your craft okay conan is seating the first guests of the day and is that julita yep julita's on board okay conan teach her teach her everything you need to know about serving people at this restaurant she only has a skill level low but apparently that's really good for her so julita get some done okay you're already on on door on deck here you are greeting customers. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. I really want to see what our money is going to look like at the end of the day. And most importantly to me is anyone ordering the duck meatballs. Because I've made them twice, put them on the menu twice. I'd like to see somebody ordering it. So this is interesting that Julita is more than happy to help out with Conan's section. So Conan actually sat these people, and Conan's been dealing with them, but Julita has kind of bounced in and dealt with some of the issues that they've had as they've kind of gone through their little list of things they need to do to get in and out of this restaurant. I would have assumed 
that Conan would have dealt with that table entirely, but there's actually a sort of a real-worldness here in that one of the other servers came in and helped out when Conan was doing something else, so that's nice. That means both waiters can cover the entire restaurant. It's not going to be based on who sat the table. Uh, that was my basic assumption, is that if the servers, if Julita sat a table, she was going to do that start to finish, but no, no. Both waiters are going to cover everything. That should hopefully speed things up around here, even with the amount of tables that I put down, which is about as many as I can fit in this restaurant comfortably. Maybe I could do one more at the front here. The next question will be, can I keep up in the kitchen? Can I cook all this food? Because this place is darn close to full. We got two more tables. No, sorry, three more tables here to fill, and this place will be full. Can I keep up in the kitchen dealing with all of this so far so good we're deep into the lunch shift here and everything seems to be going okay um the servers are having the only thing that i'm noticing they're having a little trouble getting the tables cleared because they're constantly working with new people coming in the door so some tables are sitting around being dirty i i, I tell you way down the road in chef i wouldn't mind seeing a bus boy added to this i'd love to see a busser added to the added to this game i know it's a little much to ask right out of the gate but that would speed things up tremendously just to have a support staff on duty i noticed we've got another solo that came in the door here a lot of restaurants hate solos i don't i don't they're generally friendlier i mean yeah sure they're they're not going to be a huge bill but they get in and out quickly you can turn the table fast and they're generally nicer so everything seems to be going broadly okay and the biggest thing I was looking for is, can I keep up in the kitchen? The short answer appears to be, yeah, I guess. I guess. Nothing nothing horrible has gone wrong so far. Of course, with that being said out loud, let's, let's check our reviews here. We do have some new reviews. Okay, the prices bar is coming down a little bit. Good. That's actually probably right around my 10% mark right there that I'm looking for. But... I think we could get that down even a little bit further and be okay with that. We'll look at what the money looks like at the end of the day. We'll go through the lunch and dinner shift and see what our balance looks like and then make adjustments on the prices from there. Okay, the lunch shift is just winding down. We've got this one table left here and Conan and Julita are just very creepily standing right behind them, watching them all the time. You know what? That's what we do to people who come in 10 minutes before the place is about to close. I'm going to tell you what. That's a very accurate, real-world assessment of the restaurant world in this game. I'm going to tell you right now. Off topic, forget about the game, Chef. If you're one of those people who walks into a restaurant 10 minutes before it's about to close and orders a well-done steak, you are hated. The waiters hate you. The chef hates you. Everybody hates you. Don't walk into a restaurant 10 minutes before it closes and order a huge meal because Conan and Julita here are waiting to go home for the day. All right, they're waiting to go home and you just tied up their whole day. Don't do that, people. Forget about the game, Chef. Just be rational nice human beings when you go out to eat okay everyone finally went home for lunch that annoying table finally left we sped through the re the mid part of the day when inexplicably my restaurant closes for a couple of hours i'm not okay with that that wouldn't fly in america got to be a european thing and the dinner shift comes in the dinner rush comes in and they immediately go to that table. Julita is just observing Conan, watching his skill, watching his craft, learning from him, shadowing Conan, who was here from day one. And, oh, Conan, passing on your craft already. I love it. I love it. All right, let's see how the dinner rush is going to go. Well, the place is packed for dinner, and Conan and Julita are just kicking butt. They are getting everybody dealt with. Who sat a solo at a four top. Oh, I'm sorry. No, yeah. Somebody sat a solo at a four top. Why would you do that? You would make that person wait and give them one of the two tops. You've just locked out those other three seats. That's ridiculous. Julita, was that you? I bet that was you. Yeah, it's Julita. Look at that. Julita, you don't sit a solo at a four top. There are people waiting out here. You see that? You could have sat those four people at the four top, Julita, and maybe just wait. made the solo wait a little bit. We do love our solos, but... Eh, maybe not sitting at the four tops, Julita. It's okay. You're young, you're inexperienced, and apparently you have a skill level of low. You'll learn from Conan. Conan will show you the ropes. 
and it's taken us till 10.20, about 10.30 at night for us to actually start ticking into positive money. We're up $86 now. Now, I have to bear in mind, I bought those new tables. So that was a significant expense right there. We would have been in positive ter territory a lot sooner if I hadn't bought those tables. But just now, we're only just getting into positive numbers. So I'm going to be very interested to see the balance sheet at the end of the day and read the reviews, see what people think of our prices, and then adjust from there. Well, Ch Conan has chosen to seat somebody at midnight. Conan, close the doors, man. I know you're an animal. I know you're working for tips. I know you're trying to show Jolita that, you know, you get the job done every time. But, man, it's midnight. Let's close the doors here. Okay, they're finally leaving. Are we done, Conan? Are we? Thank you, Conan. I appreciate it. I, you're just a machine, man. But come on, it's midnight. I'm dying in the kitchen back there. It's really hot. It's really smoky. Let's let's just go home, Conan. How did we do? We're up thirty-seven bucks. Okay, but did we broadly beat our expenses? Yeah, I mean, obviously we did. That's clear, but. We're still down 89. We're still down 90 bucks. I would, this has been, I know they fidgeted with this balance sheet. I would love it if this was just a little bit more clear. They're making it more clear as it goes along. What really throws me off is the week to week thing, even though we're kind of in a day, but it's, it's really a week. I, I don't necessarily understand that. Lionel, I'm looking in your direction. You generally understand these things better than I do, but, um, is it a day? Is it a week? Are we? Ex I, I feel like we're doing a day, but we're extrapolating that to mean a week. Uh, just a daily budget would be fine. I think we could just do a daily budget. So how did we do? Okay, yeah. Obviously, we added some wages there. That's fine. Raw ingredients still, still seems to be relatively under control. Maintenance is what it is. I haven't added anything, so that's fine. Okay, more important part. Let's check the reviews. And let's check what people actually ordered. Okay, with 47 reviews in, which is not a small amount of reviews, still at three and a half stars, prices bar has come way down. So I don't know, I really don't know if there's too much more we can do with prices, because that's actually going down a little more aggressively than I planned it to. Ambiance is up, which is odd. Do more tables affect ambiance? I don't know the answer to that. Service is fine. Food is basically fine. We could see if we could maybe improve on some of the menus. Maybe when we unlock some more ingredients, we actually get some higher tier food items, food ingredients. That might improve how much people think about the food. Prices is actually... Pretty, pretty much where I want it to be. I don't know if we can afford to go too much lower than that. Although, let's go to what people were ordering, because I'll bet you almost everyone who came in the door was a cheapskate, and they're obviously not going to like those prices. Let's go see what people ordered. Well, most upsettingly, I don't see a single person who ordered my Duck Delight meatballs. That's very frustrating. I might have to alter the price on that. I do see the cheap red beer coming up occasionally, so... That's good. Not so much on the red wine. I'm not seeing that in my eyesight immediately. So there's Duck Delights. Uh, Marco, you ordered Duck Delights and apple cream pie. Man after my own heart. I like that. Uh, Tom ordered the potato soup and the beer, the cheap red beer. That does seem to be a valuable addition to the menu there. Not so much with my duck meatballs. There's one. Oh, you, Santiago. My man, you came in and just ordered the Duck Delights. You are officially my favorite customer. Yeah, we might have to drop the price on that a little bit. Although, that being said out loud, nothing but cheapskates coming in the door. Literally nothing but cheapskates. Not a single blue collar or anything like that at all. We just had an entire day of nothing but cheapskates. Nothing. So, of course, they're going to be upset about the prices as I start putting them up, and they're going to order the cheapest stuff on the menu, like the butter pasta, which, although we raise the prices on it, is still the lowest-priced entree on our menu. I think the next step in Chef is we need to be attracting better customers. I think I've, I hope, I've got the broad essentials of keeping the place functional during the day under control. Extra server, extra tables... I'm doing fine in the kitchen right now. I'm still getting all the food out there, so I don't think we need to hire another chef. I think with the basic concept of the restaurant done, 
Now we need to go upscale. We need a better class of customer coming in here. And by better class, that could be just regular old blue collar. But at least with blue collar, we know they're going to order more things on the menu. That, I think, is the next move here. That's what we do next. We try and attract some a little more upscale, upscale clientele into Dave's Diner. But we'll address that in the next episode of Chef. We'll see if we can get a better stock of people coming in the door. Hey, if you've enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do with that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking me out for the first time, consider hitting that subscribe button so you can see more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Wow. You could have hepatitis. Or golfer's elbow. I feel we should be able to narrow it down a little better. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a doctor, but I'm saying I might be able to know the difference between golfer's elbow or hepatitis. First thing I'd ask is, do you play golf? Where are you going?